Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be. Welcome back to my channel, My Love Release. If you've never been here before, thank you so much for clicking on my video. I am so happy you found me. I do so hope that you will like and subscribe before you leave. Become part of the Mama family. Mama's got your back, at least when makeup's concerned, and definitely when that makeup is cheap. Today we're doing something super fun. We're doing a makeup tag today. We're going to do the 2022 eyeshadow makeup tag. Super excited. I have a couple of really fun palettes and not so fun palettes that I want to talk to you guys about today. I hope that you have just a few minutes, just a little while to sit back, relax, and hang out with me for a little bit. Make sure you have a big old cup of hot coffee or a glass of sweet tea. I am drinking uh, chocolate milk out of a reused pickle jar because that's just how you do it. Sometimes chocolate milk is the answer to your problems. So, so very yummy. Mm. So we're going to play with some makeup, talk about some makeup, and we're just going to hang out for just a minute. If you guys are wondering what this gorgeousness on my face is today, I am so in love. It is the very first Christmas look of the year. What do we think? I have a TikTok coming on this look very, very shortly. I actually used one of the palettes in today's video. Uh, we're going to talk about it here in just a minute. Let's, let's take a moment, though. Let's take a moment for the perfection that is this red lip. Oh, nobody talks about this, and I really think that they should. This is the AF94 uh, Matte Liquid Lipstick. Uh, it's Halsey's brand. I get mine at uh, Walmart, like I get everything else. This is the shade, what shade is this? This is the shade Like Fine Wine. It is the most perfect, beautiful, luscious red lip. It's like bright, but not too bright. It's not too, like, it's not too blue. It's not too orange. It is perfect. It is a perfect red lip. So, so yummy. Uh, so definitely if you like, if you're looking for a good holiday classic red lip, this is the one. So, so good. So there are 10 questions in total in today's video. Uh, I will of course list everything that I talk about and, and all of the questions in the description box below. Uh, but let's get started. Let's get into it. So the first question is what is the, what is your, uh, what is the most innovative relief in a, in a, oh goodness gracious most innovative release of the year uh and for me it would definitely have to be the ace beauté palette top palette opoly palette now i don't have that in my collection i just couldn't afford it this year um but it looks so so beautiful and i have seen so many different people review it uh and it just seems like so much fun first of all the palette is absolutely beautiful it's a big beautifully uh curated kind of color palette um it's it's not necessarily a rainbow palette but it is big and colorful it is so so very uh beautiful uh and on top of that it comes with this card game um and i the reason i think this, that this is so fun and so very innovative is because you know if you're anything like me my muse disappears quite often uh and a lot of time i'm searching for inspiration or ideas or i'm just creatively blocked uh and the card game that accompanies that palette I feel like would be great when you're artistically blocked or creatively blocked. It just seems like so, so much fun. Uh, and again, I missed the, I missed the sale this year, but that's totally okay. I definitely don't need to be buying another eyeshadow palette just because I want the card game attached to it, but it does seem like so, so very much fun. Uh, and I've never seen anything else like that either. Uh, it is the first and only of its kind as of right now, and it is truly an innovation in makeup. Love it so much. The second question is, what palette surprised me most this year? And this is this is going to blow your mind. This the, My answer to this is going to blow your mind. I went through uh, all of my entire collection, all of my videos and things like that this year. And I tallied up and uh, wrote down and made a list of every single eyeshadow palette I purchased this year. I purchased 66 eyeshadow palettes this year, 66. And of those 66 palettes, this one surprised me the most. This is the Wet n Wild Always, is it Always Naked? Yeah, Always Naked palette. Guys, this goes for like seven bucks at the drugstore. And let me tell you, if you guys didn't watch the video where I reviewed this palette, 
I was super broke. I wasn't in the best of moods and I was just kind of trying to scrounge together enough makeup to do a new makeup Monday, right? I was kind of discouraged, uh, but I get into the video. I start filming. I start playing with this eyeshadow palette and my mood improved significantly. This eyeshadow palette really is just absolutely spectacular. And I think the reason that this surprised me as much as it did is just because I wasn't expecting it to be so beautiful. I wasn't expecting it to work as uh, effortlessly as it did. Uh, so this, I mean, 4, 8, 12, 16, it is a 16 pan eyeshadow palette. The packaging on this is absolutely nothing special. Straight up old school plastic drugstore packaging. But guys, the actual formula, the shimmers in here are truly, truly spectacular. Beautifully reflective. I mean... Just look how smooth and creamy that looks. The mattes in here are absolutely stunning as well. Beautifully pigmented. There's a great amount of depth in here. And on top of that, this is like a truly neutral eyeshadow palette. Uh, it doesn't lean cool. It doesn't lean warm. It is truly right there, smack dab in the middle, neutral territory and it's stunning. Uh, I've used this so many times this year. It's going in my favorite palettes of the year. That's how strongly I feel about this palette. It's a $7, 7 or $8 eyeshadow palette. It is worth every single cent uh, of the price tag. It is absolutely phenomenal. You get a bunch of different textures in here as well. So you have some really beautiful, smooth, creamy, uh, metallic shimmers. And then you have some that are a little bit more chunky, a little bit more flaky. You've got a pressed glitter in here as well. You've got a beautiful amount of depth and uh, variety. There's good contrast in here. It's just a well thought out, beautifully executed palette. And on top of the fact that it is only $8.00 seven or eight dollars I think it is truly a home run a home run for wet and wild one of my favorite swallow one of my favorite wet and wild palettes that I've played with to date it really is so so fantastic and that's coming from me I don't even really like neutral I mean I love neutrals but I love my color right uh but this just surprised me so so very much if you don't have this in your collection and you're looking for a really great neutral eyeshadow palette I cannot recommend this one to you more. It is it is absolutely perfect. It's a perfect drugstore neutral eyeshadow palette. Love it so, so much. The next question is, what is the palette that I regret buying? And this one was... This one was pretty easy because I am, again, very calculated in what eyeshadows, uh, pa palettes that I purchase, what makeup I purchase. Uh, I... I you know, I'm very, uh, what is, I'm kind of picky when it comes to my eyeshadow. Um, but I picked this up because I thought this, uh, release was so fun. It looked so pretty. Uh, I do find that the pictures of this that I saw online were just a little bit misleading. This is the Milani Days of Disco palette. And one of the biggest reasons I regret buying this palette is just because it's, there's nothing special about it. There's nothing special about it. Uh, this is a 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12. So it's a 12 pan palette. Uh, you, you get a fairly small amount of eyeshadow in here as well. Uh, and honestly, I, I didn't find anything in here that was special. Uh, the Milani mattes are usually pretty good. So no news there. Uh, but the shimmers in here were just a little bit disappointing. Uh, they're really pretty and nicely reflective, but they're also super, super sheer. And there's quite a bit of glitter in them uh, as well. So what happens is uh, you put it on, it looks really beautiful. Uh, but 10 minutes later, you look back in the mirror and you've got glitter particles all over your cheeks. They don't stay on your eyes, uh, and it, it's just it's just not my favorite. On top of that, this palette is twenty dollars. I think it's somewhere between eighteen and nineteen dollars. So I'm rounding up to twenty, and I just don't think that it's worth it. Uh, I do have other Milani palettes that I really really adore, uh, but this one was just. I, I, I've played with it one time. Uh, it doesn't inspire me. I don't think that the color story is anything unique uh, or innovative. I just think it's all in all just kind of thrown together. Uh, yeah, and I wasn't very uh, impressed with it when I reviewed it the first time. I'm still not impressed with it now. I've used it one time and it's basically just been sitting in my drawer just being all sad and lonely. I just, I, it just, there's nothing special about it. So yeah, I regretted spending the $20 on this palette. Uh, very, very much so. 
the next question is what was the best collab of the year and this one was so easy so I, I, I know you guys know exactly what I'm gonna say so this is the glam light x scooby-doo collaboration <sighs> Guys, you want to talk about a palette that stole my heart the minute I the minute I opened it. Absolutely freaking stunning. I adore. Oh, it's just so good. So, this is the this is the Creeps and Crawls palette. Now, realistically, I could have put both the Creeps and Crawls and Rut Row Raggy in uh the same in the same answer cuz they're both fantastic. I did pick this one though just because I so so love the color story in here. You have lots of really beautiful depth. Uh the shimmers in here are spectacular. They are truly truly spectacular. They're very dimensional. They're just I mean, I mean, I mean. Just they're just so so good. The mats in here are phenomenal as well. There is literally nothing I could say negative about this palette. It is uh, in essence a perfect eyeshadow palette. Uh I I I love it. I love it so so very much. Uh I love the packaging. I love Scooby Doo. I love the color story. I just think that this one is it's 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 great my very very favorite uh my favorite collab of the entire year just so so good i am so glad that i just went ahead and bit the bullet and purchased it because i, I there's no regret in me at all whatsoever i am 100 percent ecstatic about having this in my collection so so good now the next one is the worst collab of the year and this one wasn't very hard to answer either uh now towards the beginning of the year i think it was uh early spring i believe oh my eyes are tearing up it was early spring i believe and wet and wild came out with a collaboration and i know you guys can probably see it at the edge of my screen but I was so excited about this. This is the Wet n Wild X Care Bears eyeshadow palette. And this was so, so, so disappointing. I wanted to love this so, so much. And then I used it and I was just so unimpressed. And what really makes me mad is the quality in this eyeshadow palette is completely different to the quality in this eyeshadow palette completely different. I don't understand why you can make such a spectacular formula in this tiny little palette and then you go you go big, right? Imagine the amount of money that they must have paid in order to you know to pay for the franchise of Care Bears, right? In order to pay for the collab. Imagine paying an exorbitant amount of money and then just saying, "Oh, well we'll just kind of sling in whatever, you know, whatever quality we want to because they won't care because it's Care Bears." No, baby. No, 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 no. Don't do that to us. You know, and this palette was expensive. This palette, this palette right here, okay, was $7. This palette was 16 Can you make it make sense? Because I don't understand. I don't understand why this is so spectacular and this is so mediocre. So I used this. I tried to do, I actually ended up doing a really beautiful eye look with it. Um, it, but I don't think it's because of the actual eyeshadow. I think it's just, I'm that good. No, I'm just playing. I just, I really had to put a lot of effort into creating that eye look. And then I, at the end of it, I just ended up covering everything up with glitter because glitter makes everything better. But the, uh, the colors, they got muddy. They didn't hold their own. Uh, when you blended them out, they got very sheer and patchy looking. They just, it's just not good eyeshadow quality. And it, like I said, it just makes me mad because I know that Wet n Wild is capable of doing it right. I know that they're capable of doing things well in the fact that they charged $16. $16 for a Wet n Wild eyeshadow palette and the quality in here is so massively inferior. It just, it irks me. It irks me so, so bad. I'm not going to get rid of it because I like the packaging, but even the packaging is super, super cheap. It's super flimsy. I just, this is what the eyeshadow palette, this is what the color story looks like. I think the color story is beautiful. It's a really cute uh, rainbow palette, but I just... I just, I just, I don't, I don't even, like, they look really good in swatches. Like, they swatch beautifully. Even the mattes swatch beautifully. This orange is absolutely stunning. 
but the minute you try to get it on the eye the minute you try to blend it out it's just it's just not good uh it's it's really like i said inferior quality and it just makes me so so sad uh i will say that i do enjoy the pressed glitters in here i think that they're very very pretty i know i've said time and time again I'll have to show you that on my finger. Look how pretty that looks. I know I've uh, I've said time and time again that I love Wet n Wild uh, pressed glitters as long as it's not that jelly Vaseline uh, formula. They're so, so good. I just don't understand why you had to go and uh, kind of cut corners and put a subpar eyeshadow formula in such a cute palette if you guys would have if wet and wild would have done this palette correctly and just kind of paid the, the the extra money the extra couple of dollars whatever it would have costed to put the best uh like the better eyeshadow formula in here this would have been a complete and total like home run but instead we get just kind of a meh eyeshadow palette. Uh, yeah, I'm really, really passionate about this one because I wanted to like it so, so badly. Wet n Wild is one of my very favorite drugstore brands uh, and the fact that they do this. And then on top of that, it makes me mad because they're trying to pull one over on the consumer. It's like we're not, we're, we're intelligent creatures, right? We're not stupid. We understand the difference between good and bad eyeshadow formulations. Like why are you going to charge us so much money and put a formula and put a, an eyeshadow inside that is far beneath your everyday kind of your your regular eyeshadow formula. I don't I don't understand it. I don't understand it. It makes me mad. And this is my least favorite collab of the entire year. Just super super disappointing. The next question is, uh, what was the best seasonal release of the year? And this one was pretty uh, pretty easy for me to answer, uh, just because I didn't really buy that many. Uh, seasonal releases this year uh the only time i really go for seasonal releases is around halloween just because i love halloween themed packaging now uh i only bought i only bought two halloween releases this year i bought the uh revolution x beetlejuice collection uh and that one was pretty disappointing in my opinion i was not impressed with the four the formulas and either one of the eyeshadow palettes i feel like the shimmers were super close to hard panning uh the mattes were okay but they were mostly shimmer palettes and the shimmer formula was just again pretty subpar so i was like it's definitely not that so this was a complete and total no brainer. This is the ColourPop X Hocus Pocus Round 3 palette. Guys, everything, okay, I, I even kept the sleeve to this palette because it's so cute. I just couldn't bear to part with it. So this is the ColourPop X Hocus Pocus Round 3 palette. Everything from the formula of the eyeshadows to the packaging to the way that it makes me feel and the nostalgia it invokes in me is just absolute perfection. I adore, adore this eyeshadow palette. So this is what the cover art looks like. I I'm still missing my nail. I still haven't had time to sit down and fix it. So please just ignore that. But everything from the cover art to the color story inside, it is just spectacular. Uh, so the color story at first glance, uh, maybe it doesn't look like anything super special or spectacular uh but these shades up here uh this is called 17th century and it is one of the prettiest kind of topper shades ever and then you have this shade over here uh candle is all right or candle is a light i believe and this one is just a little bit more golden this one's a little bit more silver they're beautiful they're stunning. Uh, the shimmers in here are really, really pretty as well. That purple shimmer is just, I mean, they're pretty. Uh, now, I did expect for the shimmers in this palette to be a little bit more opaque uh, than they are. Uh, they're still a little bit sheer for my liking, but the mattes in here are, so, like, they're just, they're just so good. They're bomb. They're so, so good. Standard ColourPop formulas, standard ColourPop quality. I just, I think that this is a really, really great palette. I love the pops of purple and orange and green in here. You have plenty of neutrals if you just want to do an everyday kind of look. You've got contrast, you've got depth, you've got versatility. It checks all the boxes. It's beautiful. The packaging is absolutely stunning. And yeah, definitely my favorite seasonal release of the year. I love this palette. Uh, and on top of that, when I bought 
bought this palette, they were doing a promotion where if you bought anything from the new collection, they gave you last year's Hocus Pocus palette for free. Girl, you know I did. You know I did. I jumped on it. So I got two palettes for the price of one. It was a super, super happy camper. This palette's fantastic. I love it. I, lo I love everything about it. So we're coming up on the end here. Uh, the next question is what palette from the year is well, like is still on my mind? What palette did I purchase this year that I really just can't kind of shake? Uh, I can't get over. And again, for me, this one was pretty easy. Uh, I go through my collection pretty regularly. Uh, I, I really am at a point where I don't want to, uh, I don't want to hoard my makeup. If I'm not using it, uh, I, I, I want to get rid of it. I want to find it a better home. I definitely don't want makeup that's just going to sit here and expire uh, before I can get to it. Uh, so I, I go through and I comb through my uh, collection fairly regularly. Uh, and when I sit down to do my makeup, what I look for uh, in a palette is I want something that when I open it, it instantly inspires me. It makes me want to play. It makes me want to be creative. And time and time and time again, I come back to this palette. This is the palette that I used on my eyes today. I think that it is absolutely spectacular. This is the Beauty Bay Bright 2.0 palette. Guys, I can't get over this palette. I can't get over it. First of all, the packaging is phenomenal. I love the color story on the front of the packaging. Beauty Babe, uh, oh, my phone's about to die. Close, please. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. So Beauty Bay packaging is so much more than you're going to assume because the palettes are so affordable. You think it's going to be just kind of cheapy cardboard or plastic packaging. But the thing I love about the Beauty Bay palettes is they're hefty. They feel substantial. They feel uh, quality and well-made. They just feel they make me feel special. They make me feel like I'm using something special, which I appreciate. I'm not all about the packaging. I, re I really like to focus on the formulas inside, but I'm not going to sit here and lie to you and tell you that packaging doesn't factor into the equation. I enjoy looking at pretty things. I enjoy touching and holding pretty things. And when I pick up a palette, I want to feel like I'm using something special. I want to feel like I'm treating my, my eyelids to an experience, right? Beauty Bay does that for me. Second of all, you have a really gorgeous, huge, huge mirror. I can sit this palette up here like this and I can do my, my entire face using this mirror, which I super, super appreciate. That lets me know that if I ever needed to go somewhere or I needed to travel and I didn't want to take a mirror or anything like that, in, in any event, I could use this palette and I could do my whole face uh, hands-free, which makes me very, very happy. Then you move on to the actual formulas and color story inside. This color story is incredibly inspiring to me. I love everything in here. I love the gradient. Uh, there is lots of depth. There's lots of contrast. You go from pretty, you have a matte white and a matte black. You've got lots of really beautiful red, pinks, purples, blue. It's basically a rainbow palette, but it is, I love the tones in here. I feel like this is like, it's not necessarily, it's not a straight up primary rainbow palette. And I think that's what the, I think that's what I appreciate the most about it. I think that the colors in here are a bit unexpected. You've got this really gorgeous lime green, but then you've also got this kind of uh, limey pastel yellow. Uh, the mix of mattes and shimmers is, uh, it's divine. It is a divine, beautiful, perfect eyeshadow palette. Uh, I know that I rave about the Beauty Bay mattes. All the, look how pigmented that is. I rave about the Beauty Bay mattes all the time. I think they are some of the very best mattes available on the market. And then you factor in the price, the price point, and it's just unbeatable. It is, I will say that Beauty Bay takes absolutely forever to ship, and that does annoy the dog snot out of me most of the time. But there's the metallic. Look, look at that. Like, it's just, the quality is unbeatable. The price is unbeatable. Beauty Bay has quickly become one of my very, very favorite eyeshadow brands. They're just, they're spectacular. They're spectacular. And there is nothing about this eyeshadow palette uh, that I could gripe about. It's just, it's absolute perfection. I love this thing. I go back to it time and time and time again. I have never done an eyeshadow look with this palette that I didn't like. Uh, and yeah, I'm even wearing it on my eyes today. And it's just, it's, it's good. It's easy to use. It's, it's just good. It's just good. So definitely, definitely my favorite uh, 
maybe not my favorite, but it's the one I return to the absolute most. I love this thing so, so much. So we have two questions left. The next question is, what are you hoping to see? Or we have three questions left. Uh, question number eight is, what do you hope to see next year? Uh, and really what I'm hoping to see next year is artistry. Uh, this year has been a lot about like the 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 more neutral kind of tones, <clears throat> especially in drugstore makeup. It's been about that clean girl, chic kind of aesthetic. We've had lots and lots of really beautiful, uh, neutral kind of releases this year. <coughs> Excuse me, I've been talking for a while now. But next year, I would really like to see innovation at the drugstore. I would like to see the drugstore come out with new formulas, new products, especially uh, things that are artistry based. So I'm talking about liners, water activated liners, uh, like gel, uh, like eye paints, things like that. Uh, NYX is kind of at the forefront of that, but NYX, again, because they're at the forefront, they're, they're, they're pushing that price tag and it makes me mad because NYX is a drugstore brand and they don't charge like one. So it, like the eye paints that they sell, I want so badly. I can't handle, I, like, I can't stand it, but they are charging like 10 or $15 a piece for those eye paints. So I'm just not going to do it. So I'm hoping that some of the more affordable brands are going to come out with things like the eye paints or things that are a little bit more colorful and artistry driven. So that way people who are working with a much smaller budget uh, and, you know, ha have to be a little bit more conscious of the money that they're spending, uh, I'm hoping that artistry is going to be a little bit more available to them. So we're not having, having to hunt quite so hard to find the tools that we need in order to create the masterpieces that we want to create. Next question is, uh, what do you not want to see next year at the drugstore? And I, I think the biggest, uh, not at the drugstore, but what do you not want to see next year? And I think what I don't want to see next year is, is the price gouging. Uh, and of course, I guess that's, I mean, that's everybody, right? Uh, but I, I really would like to see people brands being a little bit more conscious of the fact that we are in a recession. Uh, the fact that makeup is getting way, way, way too expensive. Uh, and it's getting to a point where, uh, it, it's becoming unaccessible to people, uh, that just don't have it like that. Uh, I wish that brands would be a little bit more conscious of their audience and, and kind of, uh, cater to the people that support them a little bit more. On top of that, I would really like to see, like I said, brands, I don't want to see brands just kind of stay, uh, in the same lane, right? I, uh, you look at drugstore releases and it's, it's, it's like this new NYX release, right? I think it's absolutely stunning. But the new NYX Avatar collection, Avatar is one of my very favorite movies of all time. I can't wait to see the second one. I think the new palettes look absolutely stunning. Uh, but again, they're wanting $25 for uh, a palette and it's full of half pan shadows. It's just, it's, it's a little bit ridiculous to me. It's a little bit ridiculous to me. Uh, so I really just, I'm hoping that brands grow a conscious and a conscience and stop trying to like price gouge us because like we're just not going to do it we're just not going to do it the last and final question is uh what are my goals what what do I want to improve on next year and of course uh this one was pretty simple to me I want to I want to grow uh I would like to improve on my uh, on my artistry. I would like to pr improve on my skills. And also I would really like to be able to, uh, connect with you guys better. Uh, you guys, you guys really just make, make my day every day. I get to come here and film a video and play with makeup with you guys. Like it really does. It makes my day every time I come in here and film. Uh, so I would really, and I'm actually a pretty shy person in real life, uh, which is, and, and I'm very awkward. I'm very, I'm a very awkward kind of person. Uh, I know that I don't come across that way, uh, but I am pretty awkward and I'm, I, it is what it is. Uh, but that is why sometimes I don't respond just because I don't know what to say. I'm pretty awkward. Uh, but I would really like to be able to work on my people skills a little bit as well. That would be nice. Uh, and, uh, definitely improve on my artistry. Uh, I'm good, but you can always be better. Uh, and yeah, I would like to grow my channel. I would like to improve, uh, my video quality, maybe get a camera at some point. Uh, just, just general channel things. Uh, but yeah, that is, 
those are all 10 questions. Guys, I hope that you enjoyed today's video. I enjoy, I always enjoy just coming and sitting down and talking to you guys. It's like one of my favorite things to do every single day. Uh, but I hope that this video enlightened you in some way. I hope that it was entertaining, uh, at least just a little bit. As always, I will post everything that I talked about in today's video in the description box below, along with the links to all my other socials, Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, all that good stuff. I will, of course, be posting finished pictures over on Instagram and Facebook. The links for all that will be in the description box. If you're not following me everywhere, make sure you go do that. Uh, if I post fun content every single day, so if you're following me everywhere, you don't have to worry about missing a single moment of it. The giveaways, the December giveaways are live now. I have a post over on Instagram and on Facebook uh, laying out all of the ground rules and all that good stuff. I have four different giveaways that I'm doing this year, uh, so one for each week of December. The first giveaway is live right now, uh, and it ends the 10th of December. All you have to do is follow me here, TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. Uh, leave a comment on any one of any one of the socials, whatever, any video, uh, let me know that you're done. We'll try to find a giveaway video. Leave a comment under a giveaway video saying you're done and I will add you to the list. Uh, and each time that you, uh, each time that you like a video, uh, each time that you comment, all of that gives you another entry into the giveaway. Uh, and I will personally contact you, uh, and let you know if you won. Uh, guys, as always, no filters, no edits, no fancy lighting. It's just me sitting in front of my camera playing with some makeup hoping you guys are enjoying what i'm doing and until next time stay safe take care of yourselves and remember you're important bye